coaches were just talking about how beneficial the second bye week has been just because of kind of the turnover and the quarterback change and things like that. How has it benefited the players? Uh, you know, I think it's more of a, a body reset. Uh, you know, with one bye week, it's usually just a mental reset. And, uh, you know, I've experienced that through two seasons already. Your body starts getting beaten up. And that one week isn't really enough to sort of get your feet back under you like you were at the beginning of the season. So I think the first one was good for just a mental reset. The second one's good for actually letting your body reset like you were at the beginning of the season. You get back out on the field this year, but especially coming, you know, this is a pretty important game for the guys, especially from Kentucky. I would say that's something you would say yourself. Oh, yeah, definitely. And especially, you know, from last year, uh, games like that. But you know, Tennessee's always been, you know, right up there with Louisville as a big contender for a rivalry. And, uh, you know, that's how we treat it every single year is just how we treat Louisville. And uh, so we're going in there and we're preparing the best we can because we don't want to come in here and let them uh, you know, embarrass us. When, uh, when they call a, a pass when Lynn's at quarterback, how much different is it protecting him when he's dropping back to pass versus any other guy? Uh, it's, a, it's an open book. You don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> so you sit there and you hold on for dear life, and, uh, and uh, he's going to make something happen. Rather, rather it's throwing the ball, rather it's getting out of there. But uh, uh, it's definitely uh, got to be a little more active. <laughs> is, he, is he a better thrower than, than what we've seen to this point? Yeah, I think yeah, I think he can. I think uh, you know, give him the chance, and he has a really good arm. I've seen him practice though, you know, just messing around with guys and being able to just launch the ball. It's just uh, you know, getting those reps in a live game and being able to uh, you know replicate what he does in practice in a live game when different pressures added to you. Tennessee's uh, stopped the run really well the last few games. What is what have you seen from them on film that's allowed them to be so effective? Uh, you know, they get really athletic guys up front. Uh, they have a couple, couple older guys, a couple younger guys, but just guys that throughout the season have really picked up their uh, game, picked up their attitude and swarming the ball and really trying to be active inside. Um, but, you know, uh, they got some good edge guys too that can hold, hold contain, but they're really good at stopping, stopping the runs, plugging those holes, reading, reacting, and getting off going to the ball. Noah, you grew up watching Kentucky. How, you a big basketball guy? I'm not a big basketball guy. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I didn't even watch my first college game until I got recruited to Kentucky. Uh, so, you know, and that was my uh, football. So, right. know, basketball, I think I watched my first game on the, uh, my official visit here. But besides that, I don't think I've watched many more besides that. So is it, is it too late for you to, to keep on the TV tonight? To do what? To, is it too late for you to stay up and watch it all tonight? Or you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Too late for me. <laughs> I'm in bed by 9 o'clock, so. <laughs> you were one of the taller guys over there at Lafayette. Didn't they ever try to drag you out there and uh, play with that? So, to tell you the truth, the middle squad did a three on three basketball tournament. And, you know, I could I could get under under there and I could get in the paint and I could make some stuff happen. But <laughs> anywhere outside of that, like, it ain't happening. And, you know, I thought of basketball more as uh, tackle football. So, <laughs> They didn't like that, and they sort of shut down after that. Of course, the coaches joked with me, but you know, I started doing well in football and track and wrestling. They saw I didn't really have the time, so they just shut it down in Lafayette and didn't ask me more. Cal keeps saying they need more toughness. They brought a baseball player over, so. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, just put me on the practice squad. I'll toughen them up. <laughs> Everybody good? Thanks,